Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with this Capricorn Boros combo deck. Uh, so far, we've actually not been able to pull it off, uh, but we've still won a couple games. So uh, if you haven't watched part one, please go check it out. Uh, we go over the deck list a little bit so you can kind of see what we're playing, why we're playing it, and what we're kind of trying to pull off here. It's a silly deck. Uh, it's a jank deck, but it's actually kind of working out. Um, okay, our frame rates are tanking. We're going we're gonna to reset here. This keeps happening like all the time, so I do apologize. We'll hopefully be able to um, avoid that in the next game. I, these frame rate issues, we're actually, we bought a new router to hopefully uh, fix things on our end. Uh, anyway, yeah, so the idea of this deck is we have the Capricorn out in the 1-3 uh, that whenever it's dealt non-combat damage, it gets that many plus one plus one counters instead, uh, which is stupid good. The idea is you just sweep the board with things like Deafening Clarion and Storm's Wrath, and then you get there with it. Um, but we haven't actually done that yet. Um, this hand is not great. Um, I don't know though. Against a creature deck, it's like super good. We're gonna we're gonna try it. We'll Temple first and see if we can get something off the top. We do need that. Um, it's kind of boring to keep a land on top, but we need it. So let's do it. Oh, good. We're against a creature deck. Well, that's good. Uh, let's drop this out, and honestly, this is a bit preemptive, but let's do this. Um, yeah. I, Gilded Goose is such a problem card for a lot of things. Like, it just does a lot of different stuff that you don't want, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ditch it there. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, Hactos is quite good. All right, let's get in. Let's plus him up. Submit zero and pass. Um, next turn, we can either Hactos or Storm's Wrath. Probably just going to Storm's Wrath. It kind of depends on what the opponent does. Um, Gideon does not die thanks to its indestructible on our turn, which is great. Um, we'll see if they actually want to attack in at Gideon, because they may. It's a very real chance. Um, <clears throat> also guys we're trying to set up live streaming we're kind of working on it it's a little bit slow going for us i'll be honest but we're working on it so that will be available hopefully very soon interesting um kind of want to wait on the storm's wrath uh let's do this let's play out hactos what do we get protection from other than two perfect uh doesn't get that and we'll attack in all right really unfortunate that we hit two <laughs> otherwise we could have blocked this really efficiently but that's okay yeah take some damage don't like that uh clothis is a good 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 card right now i will say that uh, i played a gruel deck with clothis and it was such a tech card but it like it was good. There were so many things that it... I mean, exiling stuff from the graveyard is important. Okay. Um, I mean, that's fine. We're just going to do this. They kind of saved me the trouble of having to Storm's Wrath. So, like, that actually works out for me. Um, sure. That's fine. It's totally fine. Gilded Goose. Okay. We have protection from you. Perforous is intervention. Um. Hmm. Is this right? One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do this. Why not? If it dies, it dies. That's fine. We don't particularly care all that much. It has haste and trample. It's like they can block here. This just gets us in, in range of like being able to resurgence for the win next turn. <clears throat> uh, really even just attack in. But like the idea is we need to potentially resurgence because they are going to heal up here. Yep, I get another two drain. 
up to eight. So we do need a resurgence, but like assuming they don't play a two drop, we can do that. And if they do, then we just get to Storm's Wrath. <laughs> Ooh, very cool. Very, very cool. The land shall conquer you. Thanks, Nissa. Way to be there. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. I'm just gonna do this. This can't block us, if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, that's gonna suck. But. Wait for it. They can gain three, but that does not do it. Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Oops. Boop. We're going to boop them. I really like Hactos. I've been like very impressed with Hactos. I always read this wrong. Um, that was kind of stupid on my part, but like I always read it. You choose one and then that's what you have protection from. Not that you have protection from everything, but... Um, Kind of a weird logic, but I'm into it. Um, let's go ahead and jump into game two. We won. I mean, we're still not pulling off the combo, and I really just want to pull off the combo. Um, but it's working. Like, the deck is working really well. Um, <clears throat> okay, look. This is as much potential as we have ever had. We need a second red, but we're doing this. What is this? A Yorian deck? Well... Our sleepers are going to do next to nothing. Well, Storm's Wrath hits Planeswalkers, so there's that. And it'll hit this stupid 0-4 wall. This is going to be a Luka deck, like 100%. Luka is so good. Uh, we played Jeskai Luka yesterday. Um, maybe not. Maybe this is just Azorius Control, which is really interesting. Um, we played Jeskai Luka yesterday. Uh, if you didn't check that deck out, holy crap, you should check that deck out. It is sweet. Very, very sweet. Let's try and get this out here while we have no counters left up. This is such a silly card. There's very little chance of this actually working, but we're going to do it. We're going to try. Sure. That's really cool. Uh, oh, it's creature. Excuse me. Oh, yay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Chances are they're just going to like Elspeth conquers death and kill this, but like it's still cool. Ah, okay. Yeah, that works. Uh, thrill of possibility. Yeah, we got to do this. Um, let's get rid of deafening clarion and one of whoops. Oh yeah. We just have to discard one. I'm dumb. Um, wow, no land. Let's do this now. Um, you and you, I think. There we go. Need to hit a land. <clears throat> we can get Hactos down potentially, and then that just kind of has... What? What is this deck? It turned into a creature deck. What? I guess that makes sense. They're playing Thassa, but like, what in the world? This is so weird. Um, I mean, yeah. I forgot about this card. Um, we're just going to deal three to every non-elemental creature. Let's sweep. Get this down just so we've got like a, a threat on the field. Ooh, that's good. Kill Chandra. Sure. Sounds like a plan. Um... Let's do this. Uh, hmm. Let's go Hactos. And let's go this. Um, i trying to think it doesn't really matter, does it? We're just going to give it indestructible. We'll not give it an attack. Okay. So everything other than four... Thankfully, this Hactus is just like the all-star, man. It is killer. Um, unfortunately, this means Stormwrath kills this, so we can't really Storm's Wrath while we've got this out. Bit unfortunate, but that's fine. 
Uh, it does mean we can Gideon on this, which is really nice. Um, kind of surprised they didn't do this to blow up Gideon, but that's fine. Oh, I guess they get to anyway because of Fossa. Sure. Get to kill Gideon. That's pretty good. Got another 3-3. Three, three. Killing it. Oh, frame rate drop. What in the world? It's so, like, randomly seeming to happen. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to all attack because I kind of want them to block this. Should we? Yeah, we're going to do it. We can't let them like continuously repeat the the cavalier. That just that's going to wreck us at some point. Hactos is very very good, but like, you know, ow, that kind of sucks. Uh thank I mean response could potentially get rid of this though. Uh if they do attack with it. So there's that. Chances are we probably lose this game, but this has been a fun match, though. I will say that. Uh, we'll enter that tab, so that's fine. And we'll pass. Yeah, you get your wall. <clears throat> really hope they attack in with something here. Okay, I'm assuming they're going to hit the castle. Spit out our token. Okay, well, not much we can do about that. We're just going to pass. We'll see what we draw, but yeah, they get to... They're going to be doing the most here. Always right to tap your land before they steal it. Gideon. Does Gideon really help us, though? No, and with that, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and concede. Um... There's not much we could do to really dig ourselves out of that, I don't think. Um, not when they're blinking agent, like, every turn. Um, okay, well, game two we lost. So far, we're repeating uh, the first video, so let's see if we can get a win on game three. Uh, we did kind of see the Capricorn do its thing, where we got to Storm's Wrath with it out, but, like, it didn't take over the game or anything like that. I've been more impressed with Hactos than I have been the Capricorn combo. Ah. Uh. All right, uh, this is a pretty interactive hand. Uh, Thrill of Possibility as well as Fire Prophecy, very, very nice. So let's keep both of those. It just means that, you know, if we don't use one, we get to use the other, which is awesome. No frame rate drop, good. Let's keep it that way. Mono white, maybe? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's just play this out there and we'll pass. We get to kill this if we'd like. We can also just wait to Storm's Wrath everything. It's not like we've got anything coming down right now. Oh, well, now we're doing this, 100%. Um, eh. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's dig a little deeper. <clears throat> let's play Sacred Foundry and we will pass. Next turn, we just get to Storm's Wrath, whatever they do, um, and get our way up to Chandra, which is going to hopefully just kind of wreck them, which is right now our game plan. Oh, blue-white. So this is just... Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Not cool enough. Um, so do we just Perforos' intervention and kill it? I kind of think that's the play, because uh, it's a one-for-one. -one. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, we just have to devalue everything that they do. Thankfully, we've got like a butt ton of things we can do. Let's um, be mana efficient and do that. And then we'll play Hactos. And hope we don't hit four. That's fine. It's not great, but protection from two. 
Oh, other than two. Everything other than two. Excuse me. Always get that. Sorry. Get that backwards. No big deal. All right. Um, the only problem is that means we can't Gideon this, but that's okay. <laughs> nice. They tried. <laughs> they tried to banishing light. That's funny. All right. Let's do this. Um, yeah, that was a bit of an oops. Let's do this. Um, what do we do, honestly? I'm a little worried about an instant speed spell. Okay, good. They didn't have one. Let's attack. I was a little bit worried that they might have, like, something to pump this up. This is an enchantment focus deck, so, like, they could have had a million things to do that with. Sure. I mean, that sucks, but, like, that's not the end of the world for us. Um, let's play Gideon. Let's buff him up. It doesn't do anything. Um, we probably could have just swung in with this and, like, gotten very close to the win. We wouldn't have been there, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it would have been pretty close, but that's okay. Let's do this. Let's Storm's Wrath. There we go. All right, cool. So, turns out, um, this deck is kind of just good. Um, I mean, we have pretty good luck with it, if I'm honest. Like, it's not perfect. I think there are a lot of things, like, the, the fact that it runs sweepers in a deck where it can also run a lot of creatures is really sweet. Um... It deals super well with a lot of, like, creature decks because you just get to one-for-one one their stuff or sweep their stuff. Um, you've got six sweepers and Chandra's, so really, like, eight or something like that. Like, you've got a lot of ways to get rid of the board that somehow just doesn't affect you. Uh, and turns out a one-sided sweeper is a little unfair, um, which is awesome. I really like that. Uh, do I think the Capricorn part of it is good? maybe like in a very non-interactive matchup where like the opponent doesn't have much interaction, it's probably great because you can really do some damage. Um, but I, in general, it feels like a bit of a reach. Um, I really wanted to see it work and we kind of got to in game two, but it really didn't get us anywhere. Um, I don't know. I like this deck. I will say that I, I normally kind of hate Boros. Um, just as a color combo, it's not very exciting. It's very aggro focused, but what this deck does that a lot of decks can't is that it gets to sweep the board and still play creatures, uh, like very good creature threats. Um, and so like Hactos, stupid good. Holy crap. It just gets around everything. Um, didn't get around Paradise Druid, silly enough, but they actually wrath the, the board for us. Um, and what we just saw there is really, really important where the opponents don't really know how to interact with Hactos. Like, they tried to Banishing Light it. It just doesn't work. It's got protection. Um, they Storm's Wrath in the game two. Well, it didn't kill it because obviously we got it back. Or game one, maybe. Um, either way, like, it's really powerful. Like, that card is stupid good. Um, Gideon, all-star as always. There's no surprise there. Chandra, very good finisher. Great way to sweep the board. We saw there they banishing light it, uh, lighted it immediately just to get rid of it, and I think you have to. Um, but, like, man, interesting, interesting deck. I really like this one. I highly recommend checking this one out. It's been fun. I like it. Uh, do hope that you guys will like and comment if you uh, did enjoy the video. Make sure to enter our giveaway and check out our basic lands at itresolvesmtg.com. You can also uh, support us on Patreon if you are not already. We'd certainly appreciate it. Um, really good proxy rewards this month and you've only got a few days left. So if you want to pick those up now is the time. Uh, but regardless, I really do appreciate it guys. I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.